So I was out at the scrap yards again. I was a naughty boy. Got another five horse Briggs. This one was off a very old generator. Once again the cooling cover was missing so I don't know what year it is but it's a points engine and the generator I suspect it could be a 77 engine. Anyway, uh, it turns out that it's got the uh, roller bearing uh, on the uh, output end of the crankshaft. Those are kind of rare. So I know these are a little bit tricky to time. So I'm going to, I have not removed the camshaft out of this yet. And the valves appear to be uh, timed correctly. So what you look for is this little dot right here. little dot right right there on the counterweight and it's going to be tricky camera work here <clears throat> apparently my lights too bright so there's your regular uh, timing mark on the camshaft but when you rotate that around of course it disappears but it looks to me like when you get it right to that point let's see just the light here the dot on the uh, crankshaft counterweight uh, lines up with the dot on the camshaft looks like they're, they're pretty good there and then also if you continue on further as a second check you run the crankshaft until it's it's like the uh, casting line in the crankshaft lines up approximately with this uh, dowel pin here and just at that point the dot on the crankshaft Let's see if I can get that in. There's the dot on the crankshaft. It is two teeth ahead of the dot on the camshaft. So that could be a, a secondary check. And then of course, you know, you put it in just uh, just this way and uh, test the valves. And you know, they should uh, basically when you, when you run the piston up to the top. This might be a little tricky with one hand. Oh, it's working okay. Pistons at the top, both valves should be open fractionally right at that point there. You can see the intake is trying to open and the exhaust is closing, so the piston's just coming to the top. So that would be another check. If you get, uh, you know, uh, timing different than that, uh, then you uh, probably have the, uh, the dots uh, down below there uh, out of alignment. Uh, anyway, um, now racing camshafts could be different. I know well, you know a lot of these five horses with the roller bearings use uh, racing cams and that, but uh, so because you can vary the lobes and that on those, the timing might be a little bit different. But this looks like how to uh, set up a stock uh, five horse Briggs Model 13 with the uh, roller bearing. As I say, it's that that dot on the, the counterweight there needs to line right up with the dot on the camshaft. So anyway, I don't want to keep this, make this vid too long, so uh, best of luck there if you've got one of these engines and you're trying to uh, reassemble it or time it. So I think that's how you'd go about it.